I just want to know where he is. Put him in his grave. I have an empty grave with his name on it. His date of birth and the day he disappeared. Tell me where he is. Just let us bring him home. Charles MacArthur worked at Harrington and Richards in Gardner, Massachusetts for 16 years. And around 1980, he started to act a little strange, his wife recalls Karen, nice lady. And uh, she believes he kind of got caught in the wrong crowd. Around 1990, uh, 1982, he took a trip to Florida. He picked up a quantity of cocaine for someone else, brought that cocaine back to Worcester, Massachusetts, and was involved in the sales industry. At some point, he came up short with the money. She believes somewhere in the neighborhood about $30,000. Ultimately, um, one day when she's at work, he gets a phone call, and it was one of his friends who said, come meet me at the Italian kitchen. He goes to the Italian kitchen, and Mr. McGoth has never been seen since. Wherever they took him or whatever they did with him, it's like, you, they must have no heart to I mean to do that to somebody. And I'm sure he was scared. I'm sure he was, too. He uh, was escorted out of the Italian kitchen by three males that we know of and never seen again. His Burgundy Ford Thunderbird was recovered 10 days later in the combat zone with multiple parking tickets. The investigation early on developed some persons of interest, um, just like in the other cases that have left, left the area. But uh, the persons who escorted him out of the bar, we believe, are still local. And we're hoping that maybe someone who was in that restaurant that night, because it was such a small restaurant, remembers him and is willing to now, after all these years, help us out. There's so much time has passed, it's like, it's ridiculous now. Just man up, tell us where he is, point in a direction that he can be found, and then, you know, whatever happens after that, happens after that. But at least my mother has closure, my brother and I too, and it would be nice to have that ending for him. It's like part of your life stops. Um, and you just wait and wait. It, it doesn't, um, yeah. you, don't, you don't have an answer. You know, it's just, it's the, way it, the rest of me can't go on until that part is answered.